Welcome, South Florida Fight Fans. This is my blog. I'm Dean Thomas, covering mixed martial arts action for the South Florida Insider. This week I'm going to be talking about the WEC. What can I say? No longer in existence, but the UFC's picked up a bunch of tough competition. We got Donald Cerrone, Ben Henderson, Shane Roller, Jamie Varner, and how can we forget? I didn't forget. I saved the best for last, the new champ. Anthony Pettis put on an amazing display. Him and Ben Henderson had an amazing fight. One that we're going to talk about for years. And even more importantly, we're going to be talking about that Matrix kick or whatever he wants to call it. I don't know what he wants to call it. But we're going to be talking about that for a long time. That's going to be on many highlight reels. If you haven't seen it, you got to see it. I mean, it was probably one of the best, uh, best techniques we've saw in a while. Time perfectly. The technique of it was perfect. It landed the only thing that didn't happen was he didn't knock out the champ, but he still won the belt. Nonetheless, he's going to be taking on the winner between Gray Maynard and Frankie Edgar. And we're going to talk about that fight in a second. But again, congratulations to Anthony Pettis for winning the WEC belt just before the company was acquired by the UFC. Now let's talk about this fight coming up between Gray Maynard and Frankie Edgar. You know, these two guys, they fought before. We know a lot about them ever since they've been just steamrolling through competition. We've seen... Uh, Frankie Edgar, outsized, take on a lot of top-level competition, beating B.J. Penn twice, something that not a lot of guys can say. And, you know, the first time he beat him, a lot of people thought it was a fluke. Came back and did it again even more impressively. The speed of him is what's kept him in the UFC division and kept him at the top of the UFC division. You know, he's out, he's undersized by a lot of opponents, but his speed, his, his, techni his, uh, his technique, and I, I think uh, more so than that was, is his work, et work ethic. You can see that he's trained well and his ability to keep up and learn new techniques and evolve as a fighter each time he comes out has kept him successful and is what's made him the champ. His only loss is to Gray Maynard, the guy who stands in front of him this time. Gray Maynard, we saw him evolve as a fighter as well. He's come, he's come a long way from just a wrestler to a guy who's really been able to put together game plans, stick to his strategies, and we've seen him knock off Kenny Florian in his last fight. It's going to be interesting to see these two guys fight this time because I think they're two completely different fighters. However, I'm going to, you know, I don't know what the, what the, the betting lines say, but I'm going to actually give the advantage to Frankie Edgar based on, you know, I think that his ability to adapt to the current mixed martial arts game has, is surpassed what Frank what Gray Maynard's been able to do. So I'm gonna give the champ the advantage in this fight. Very interesting fight, very compelling matchup. Only time will tell what's gonna happen. That's coming up January first. I can't wait to see that. And then the winner's gonna be taking on Anthony Pettis. I think that both of those guys uh, do have a, a very distinct advantage over Anthony Pettis just being their experience in the UFC. Not a lot of people kind of really know what it's like fighting in the UFC for the first time. Even though the WEC is a big show, it's not the UFC. So I think that just that, that experience of fighting in the UFC, the biggest big show out there, I think that they, both of those guys, the winner, will have an advantage over Anthony Pettis. Um, I think that about covers it for this week. we got those things coming up. Um, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, January 1st. Again, Gray Maynard versus Frankie Edgar. We also got, uh, who else is on that card? Chris Lieben will be fighting Brian Stan. Chris Lieben, you know, he's just a, a, a tremendous, a tremendous fighter with a lot of knockout power. He, we've seen him knock out a lot of guys. And just a tough guy, really tough chin. Comes to bang every fight. Brian Stan, the same type of fighter. That's going to be a barn burner. Can't wait to see that matchup. And guys, stay with the scene. Mixed martial arts. This is the first one that I've done. Got many more to come. Check me in about a week, maybe two weeks. Dean Thomas with the South Florida Insider. Check me out.